MCP is a-okay. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Ron Bear from SpikyBits.com, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit or show you some really cool Marvel Crisis Protocol products from Asmodee. Uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol, if you're not familiar with it, you're, you're like, oh, is that that Marvel Ministries game? Yes, it is the Marvel Ministries game, but <laughs> it, it's actually really dope, and I've been playing it, I don't know, two years now. I feel like it's been pretty much forever at this point. It came out uh, towards the end of 2019, and I don't feel like we got a, lot of, a fair shake with a lot of folks because of lockdown and things, but now uh, it has... Really started to catch on, I think, with the community that might may or may not be looking for an alternate for a certain sci-fi war game that's out there. And it's just something that's fun to play, easy to pick up, easy to put down. You don't have to spend a whole afternoon doing it. That being said, Asmodee was really nice. Well, technically, uh, Atomic Mass Games has been really nice to keep sending me all of the miniatures. A lot of them ahead of release, which is really cool and I super appreciate it. Uh, because then I don't have to buy them from my collections, which is really nice. That being said, I was like, you know what? You guys want me to like create some content with this, you know, a little bit more than what I've been doing? And the answer was yes, so here we are. I thought with some of these larger kits, like the Quinjet, and you know, some of the, the current stuff that's coming out this summer, like Black Swan and Supergiant, while not as exciting, they're still Black Order and really cool, um, probably are gonna be really cool in the game itself. So what I wanted to do was show you guys what a Marvel Crisis Protocol kit is, uh, how to put them together and kind of what what all what all is just a brief overview of the game If you're not familiar with the game at all and just kind of show you how they stack up to some other miniatures size wise uh, That you might be more familiar with especially if you're watching stuff here on this channel So real quick you can always pre-order your Marvel Crest Protocol or your Star Wars Legion or X-Wing or um, what's the other game? I'm forgetting <laughs> from uh, Atomic Mass Games. Oh, Star Wars Armada, but there isn't a whole lot of uh, releases coming out for that here uh, going forward, unfortunately, as they kind of announced they wouldn't be pu putting out uh, new releases for it. That being said, you can always hit them up on Asmodee. You can also buy it off Amazon, surprisingly enough, because uh, Asmodee doesn't allow resellers to sell on Amazon. So chances are, if you're getting something from uh, any of those brands or those games on Amazon, you're getting it direct to consumer from Asmodee themselves. Um, just kind of something to keep in mind. So retail price on this terrain kit is $79.99, which, you know, it kind of, you know, seems like a lot, but when you compare it to other games out there, like Games Workshop, something like this, this is basically a, almost the same wingspan as a Thunderhawk gunship from Forge World. Not quite the same length, but, uh, you know, something like that costs nine hundred thousand um, dollars in plastic something like this would definitely cost way more than eighty dollars from a company like games workshop now maybe comparing these kits to games workshop isn't the most fairest comparison but like i always say playing marvel crisis protocol is basically free in games workshop money but if you, you don't really hobby with gw stuff you probably don't understand that that uh kind of a uh, little bit of shade right there i suppose um, so you can always get your stuff from here and then the expansion kits are various prices some some of the single releases like juggernaut and um, a Hulkbuster suit were 50 bucks This particular kit is $40 for two miniatures Which again in GW money when you're talking $38 for one special character or single character is you know This is a value when you kind of get two, but there's folks out there that sell, you know uh, stuff at different prices so to get things at this price with, you know, uh, from a, a license, which they're obviously licensing the stuff from Marvel, I still feel like it's pretty good value, even though, you know, a lot of people are like, ah, two miniatures for, for 40 bucks. It used to be a little bit cheaper, but things have gone up because they source out of China, and we all know what's, what's going on with the whole global demand and things. But either way, a lot of these, you're gonna get two miniatures for 40 bucks, sometimes a miniature for 30 if it's smaller, sometimes a miniature for 50 if it's bigger. And that's just kind of the brief overview of, um, uh, the how to pick up and, and get started with the game the starter itself you can get on Amazon direct from Asmodee for $80 or you I think it's retail price off the shelf is uh, $100 so obviously if you walk in your game store and they probably give you a discount you probably get it about the same price maybe getting it off Amazon is the way for you if you don't have a local game store size wise this is basically what you're going to be looking at it is rather large it takes up the whole uh, paint desk here um, these miniatures 
do come on the traditional kind of sprue configuration that you would come to expect from you know hobbying with uh, you know some other war games out there now this particular kit is on the sprue and it is large if you're familiar with the quinjet from hero clicks or hero clicks this is uh this is a bit bigger um it's bigger than i think even the toy that's out there um i saw a comparison picture that somebody had sent me and it is definitely bigger than the toy that's out there not by much but by enough that it that it definitely matters um so the cool thing about all of their well now um instructions wise is they have a qr code here so you just scan this qr code and it's going to take you to their site and you can get all the instructions so that way if there's an error or anything um, you know, they can update it real quick. Now, you know, a lot of people with the tinfoil hats and things are like, well, that's so they can region lock things because, you know, in the past there's been issues with other regions getting the stuff ahead of time and then, you know, but this way that theoretically can't go live because if you don't have the instructions, it would be a little bit harder to put something like this together. Although not, you know, it depending on how big of a veteran you are, um, you know, it might not be that big of an issue. For me, uh, I, I just like to have the instructions to be quite honest with you and I think that is always a thing um, when it comes to some of these miniatures at least the early ones but the designs have gotten a lot better from AMG so this taking a look at the instructions let's zoom in here real quick I printed out the instructions from the QR code for the Quinjet and here you can see kind of what to expect it is a you know it isn't full color when I print it out of course but you can kind of see it's gonna be very similar, you know, tops and bottoms of wings and things, the little um, drop down um, kind of foldable wings and the thrusters are in the back. Uh, everything kind of locks together and then uh, the thruster kind of uh, intakes kind of go over top here and the intake vents here. Then you put on the uh, vertical stabilizers and the gear does not look like you could assemble this. It looks like you're, the way these are bent these landing gear covers you're gonna have to uh, install it with the the wheels it looks like unfortunately uh, but it, it's not a, it's not a playable model and actually it's size 4x and X meaning you can't um, interact with it or throw it or destroy it or anything like that I believe uh, it's size 4 so it's pretty big um, so it's not really something that requires a flying stand or something that's usable in games so I kind of get it it's just something cool to have to kind of spruce up your battlefield or um, maybe do some sort of objective like narrative game to kind of uh, fight over I suppose um, just to give you an idea there but once you get this thing open you start taking a look at it like this is a pretty I mean this is something very similar to some of the tanks in um, Star Wars Legion that we get now that are very good quality hard plastic it even has on the bottom I think that's a four yeah four X so that's so just like all the other terrain like with the cars and things they always have the size of the terrain on the bottom like this is size two terrain right here which is very cool so you know in case you don't, you don't have to forget you can pick it up and you can be like okay it's size two you might lose a slight placing of it or something like that but um, and then here's the top of the Quinjet so it looks like this just like kind of locks together which is really cool to see maybe I don't have it quite lined up right it doesn't look like it and they put the uh, covers right there so sprue wise it looks to be pretty good um haven't cut this stuff off quite yet but then there's a whole bunch more right here as far as um all the other wings and things which are pretty large to be quite honest like i said these things are pretty massive it looks like there's two of those so they just copied them yep they copied them and then here's the base that you actually put it on with a little bit of rubble and the back uh, hatch area. I don't think any of this moves or anything like that, which, you know, not too bad for the price. I'm, I'm not mad at it considering how much something like this would be for some of the other companies out there. And I think you're probably catching on to what I mean. Now, when it comes to the other smaller kit, just to give you an idea of how these come, they're gonna come with their card, their character card pack, any tactics cards that are inside, and I'll show you those here in a second. Well, what I really like about AMG, and something that I think uh, folks tend to forget sometimes, is you get your choice of bases here, which is really cool, but sometimes people forget that they put all sorts of different other little debris on here, like there's a Starbucks cup or a red I guess it's, you could make it a red solo cup if you really want to. And there's a crumpled can too, 
which you just put on the base because a lot of times they fight in the city. Personally, I don't like using this base, but I like using these here and some of them. And I think uh, Super Giant looks like you're going to have to use this base because it's all flat. And then sometimes, like in the case of Black Swan, she comes with a little tactical pile of, uh, of rubble as well. Now, one of the things I didn't notice until just now, and I don't have the instructions with me. Remember, it's all QR codes and I didn't print those out is that it looks like there's a hood, a full hood here for Super Giant, which is kind of cool because I really wasn't digging her Brainiac style uh, nugget. And on the, or you can have it with the hood down on the back, which I think is the way all the art is. Not a super big fan of that, but hey, that's just personal preference. And um, the difference between great art and great farts is just an F. So that's my, <laughs> that's my opinion when it comes to that. And then here's the Black Swan, which I think something looks different on the robot here that she's ri uh, ripping apart from the one that was officially painted up, which I imagine are mock-ups. And I didn't realize these little swooshies on the back of her were as ridiculously big as it is. And I'm really glad they did the sprue correctly, you know, to because these um, gates or whatever you want to call them are actually meant to protect the parts. So being nice, bit, nice and big like that well, should uh, protect those parts there. But let's take a look at the cards because I think for, you know, the players out there, and I don't want to deep dive into it, but that's the more important part for some release. Now, AMG has already put out um, their transmissions where they showed and previewed all these. And then I think they even showed the tactics cards on their Twitter as well. I don't think they made the article. But here you can see Supergiant, basics are. She's actually got a lot of really good abilities. And I was like, holy cow, she's only three threat. Um, what's her drawback? Well, her drawback is she only has one defense against physical. So that's a huge, well, potentially huge problem um in a lot of cases and i forgot what the soul gem does so maybe that maybe that helps with it i, I just don't remember it i don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this but she has her builder attack her basic builder attack where she's going to get some energy but i think the devastate intellect is the really interesting one here because she's going to get uh eight dice for eight power to throw at somebody and while maybe getting the two wilds for to stagger them won't happen quite as much because if you're throwing eight dice and say you do have Thanos on the board and he is your leader, he's going to be able to give you two extra dice. So say you roll 10 dice, it's still not quite, you know, a little bit higher than 50% that you'll get two of these wilds and pull off the stagger on your target, but it's not going to happen as often. And definitely this devour mind isn't going to happen. I think the math on this, someone told me, uh, was around 6%. I haven't done the math on it myself, but after this attack is resolved, and of course, adding two extra dice would definitely help, uh, <laughs> it becomes dazed, or a, a target character that is injured becomes KO'd. So it's very similar to what we've seen, you know, uh, the ability of uh, Iron Fist, but uh, it costs a little bit more and can potentially just straight up, like, take some money out. I don't think it's going to get happen i don't think it's gonna happen quite as often her other abilities are really cool too um and for three threats she might be a really good support piece but i'm not sure that everybody's gonna take her and i haven't checked the back of the card but there it is you can you can freeze the uh the video there and check it out black swan's a little bit more interesting i could see where she might get more play because she's very very well rounded and i think this everything dies ability is really interesting to follow up uh, where she basically gets a bonus attack on a hit. Seems like it'll happen a lot on eight dice. It's basically, you're basically guaranteed to get a hit, give or take, because it's a D8. And I think mean, there's more than one of those on there. So, you know, you should be pretty good odds there. If you throw Thanos, you know, for an extra two, that's even better. There's some abilities here with this charge that I'll talk about here in a second. The Midnight Field's really interesting and being able to manipulate stuff and even the telepathic suggestion. Uh, you might actually be able to get a lot of those attacks through if she has power. She might be a little power starved though, and I'm not exactly sure. I haven't listened to any podcasts or anything or any breakdowns on this particular character, but she does get uh, power equal to the damage dealt which is really nice and not just a one guaranteed power, but getting through five damage. Again, you can use Thanos and maybe get it up to, to seven. I don't know. Um, but I could see where she has a place out there in a lot of different things. And then really cool, um, I, I was more excited about Corvus becoming a leader or having a leader ability, which is the same exact one as Thanos. Um, but that being said, it will take up one of your tactics cards, but now we have more tactics card slots. So that's cool too. Psychic Shockwave and Black Onslaught. Um, I guess one of the things I should have mentioned was Super Giant. You could use Black, or you could use Black Door. He has a bodyguard ability, so maybe it might keep Super Giant a little alive. 
uh, a little bit longer because of that only uh, you know one defensive dives to physical but that being said uh, you can kind of bring him up just like you can do with Corvus and Proxima uh, but it requires a card to do it within range of Black Swan and maybe keep her alive a little bit longer. I don't know, maybe you could combo it and have Super Giant in the mix too. And speaking of Super Giant, you could combo her with the Ebony Maw. And I'm not sure, I, I know he just got a change. I'm not sure how good he is now, but maybe something to think about. Um, if they both spend three, you could get you know your opponent to kind of drop the objective tokens. This might be a game changer really late. You know round four round five something like that i think spider foes has something very similar to this um but it requires you to take i think three characters instead of the two here so uh, i guess that kind of makes up for the big uh, black order taxes they are very expensive to field and if you feel both of them oh uh, what is that that's like seven already right there so chances are i guess you could now because if you take him as a leader you could, that would be 14, I think. I think Proxima and Corvus are seven a threat. So you might actually, this might actually see a lot more play now with this release coming out, uh, just because of the fact that you can take that right there, and then you're gonna have some gems, but the gems actually get assigned to people now. So I'm just, all this randomness is just popping in my head. So uh, yeah, hopefully you can <laughs> make what you will with it and kind of get an idea. And for the rest of you that's like, I don't understand anything about MCP, I don't know what you just said. Well, the minis are dope, and let's take a look at those. So here is the Quinjet built, and this thing is a chonk. If you didn't see it at Adepticon, um, they actually gave Adepticon a bunch of these, or I don't know, provided them, or maybe furnished them, or loaned them, I don't know, a bunch of these to put on their Marvel Crisis Protocol tables. And if you were able to kind of walk by and see them, um, well, you, you, you might not have realized that this was the actual kit, but yeah, those were the actual kit. And this thing is ginormous, and I realized what the approximate size of this plastic kit is. And if you're familiar with the Imperial Navy uh, Marauder or Marauder Bomber from Forge World, it is about the size of that. And that's a, I wanna say it's like a $300 kit now. So, um, you know, AMG to kind of come out and I don't think they're gonna get a lot of credit for doing this, but to come out and put together and create this awesome kit, this awesome sized kit, for the price it is, I know $80, it seems like a lot. And, and you know, if the world wasn't the way it was, it would probably be a lot less, I would say, potentially $20 less. Um, but that's just how supply chains and things work now. And I think it's a really, you know, it's a big testament to what they're able to do uh, with the team that they have there um, that's that's really working hard on Marvel Crisis Protocol. And I like, I like everything they do, to be quite honest, and, and the things they say, and um, just, the, just the, the way they act and the way, the way they go about things. Unfortunately, this is very back heavy, so you can't just like take it off its base because it's gonna lean down on the back. But it's got really great detailing. Like I said, it's got the 4X size on here in case you forget. Um, and the wheels are really, really great looking too. Everything kind of goes together pretty pretty well. Um, I'm sorry, got a hair on it. Uh, didn't have any big issues, uh, so to speak, except for you know some spots where the glue, um, there's, there's a little bit of tight Oh, it's a little tight putting these uh, these in up here and these here had a little bit of glue spillage But this actually um, on plastic of this size I want to show you this thing. Let me go. Let me pause the video and go grab it Because it's a really neat tool that I've been using for a number of years. That's really good on resin and plastic So mr. Hobby puts out what they call the G tool <laughs> It's basically a cordless uh, toothbrush. Yes, I know it's a toothbrush for your miniatures But this thing's got these sanding pads and they, they stick on and there's they're different grit and they're different thicknesses And it's it's actually super fun. It's shockingly more fun uh, to use this thing to kind of clean and like I said It works for resin it works for plastic and it really does a great job and it cleared off all this glue that got spilled on this thing it was it's kind of amazing it's super it's more fun than it should be to be quite honest i mean hobby is fun but using this thing is, is even funner it's only like 20 or 30 bucks uh, and you can get extra sticky pads uh, there's some links in the description and also probably the comments as well i like to copy things over there so we were able to clean that up uh fortunately because it would have looked a little a little weird there on the on the camera so put a little bit of blue tack in here just to give you an idea but in case you want to just get it on the tabletop, you could use a little blue tack here 
and lock it down for the most part and just kind of play with it. Or it might be that you just have to glue it down or paint it first and then glue it down. I probably wouldn't glue it down until it was painted to be quite honest because the only parts that contact are this and if you paint this separately, well then you can just glue it onto here and you should be good to go as long as you don't use a ridiculous amount of glue. But obviously you wanna make sure the front end sticks very well because it is, it's got a big, uh, big old chunky butt so to speak. So we'll put that down and hope it doesn't fall off the table here. And then we'll show you the next one. And I guess I should have given you a little bit more accurate idea of the size. So I showed you this earlier, but it wasn't assembled. So just to give you an idea of size, this is the cars that come with the MCP starter set. And this is a Imperial Guard Chimera <laughs> from a Warhammer 40K. So just to give you an idea of approximately how big this thing really is, it's kind of crazy big it's easily in warhammer 40k terms it's uh, easily one of the biggest if not the biggest plastic kit if this was in 40k it would probably be the biggest plastic kit they produce if i i'm trying to think of anything bigger and i just can't nothing comes to mind i think you gotta skip over to four year old uh, for pretty much everything so it's uh you know like i said for 80 bucks i i really ain't mad at it and then here's uh, Super Giant. And like I said, she's got that hood uh, that you could put on here if you really want to. This, I like this look better. I don't like seeing her her head, but there's that other bit where you, they, you know, the hood is basically down on the back. And she actually connects right here, just to give you an idea. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see, but she connects right there. And then her cape connects on the flat area right here. So it's relatively easy if you if you put lizard together, uh, it's not nearly as ridiculous as it is to figure out where lizards uh, attachments go to the splooshes. But uh, but she turned out pretty good, and she looks she looks I like her. She's definitely grown on me as a miniature um, with that hood on there. And then here's Black Swan, and like I said, this looks a little bit different from uh, what we saw originally in the art in the painted version, I think. But I can't 100% say for sure, but it does look a little different. I know, um, you know, uh, Sam Cap was a little bit different on the design or on the picture to the actual design. So sometimes they do that and I don't think it really matters to be honest. And then you can see her tactical rock right there. But overall, there really wasn't anything crazy about either of these miniatures to go together. Um, a little bit of gapping right there, but generally, um, if you use some of the super thin Tamiya glue, stuff like that won't happen, but you know, it might've just kind of slipped and uh, we didn't catch that, but that's okay. Uh, so her hair goes on, it isn't a million pieces or anything like that. Some of these miniatures can be a little daunting when it comes to piece count and exactly where uh, the pieces go. So in closing, well, I'd like to say, hey, if you, if you haven't played MCP, give it a chance. It's a, it's a really cool game. Maybe Marvel doesn't resonate with you, and I get that. Uh, if you're a fan of the movies, definitely, and miniatures, definitely check out this game. Uh, we have, we're, we're just starting to talk about it here on the channel, and I think you know going forward we might do more as we get more and more miniatures because there's a lot of stuff uh, in the pipes and in the works. And I, I really like AMG, and I really like how they how they how their outlook on games and how they go back and update games. And I just like the overall... Um, kind of um you know company culture i guess uh and when it comes to um marvel crisis protocol so i think it's definitely worth checking out if you if you there's people that play it or people you think you could get play it and playing it in your area and i think you know this this there's this particular kit here is deceptively simple in um you know how maybe game breaking it is for the hobby in general because this size kit for the number of pieces and the price i think really sets a precedent uh for people to kind of stand up and take notice uh when in regards to kind of other games out there and if you're a fan of black order the two new uh miniatures in the latest expansion are mm, maybe actually pretty um you know um game changing as far as like uh black order's Definitely had a run on the tabletop of sorts uh, in recent years, and uh, they may they may get back to their old uh, death dealing ways here in the near future. So that is it for this one. I talked way too much, um, but you can tell when I'm really excited about things and I really enjoy uh, playing uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol by Atomic Mass Games. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, you can always get your Ministers for Less uh, from Amazon, which turns out it's direct from <laughs> AMG. Or you can, you know, shop over on uh, Asmodee's uh, site themselves or, you know, pick them up at your local game store and what have you. But it's a, it's a really great game and definitely maybe check out the starter at the very least and uh, just see if it's, uh, if it's for you. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on. Just It's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybits.